This is the Lockhart frame in matte campfire tortoise from Roca. They're lightweight, they're designed for your active lifestyle, and they're prescription. Kind of put on these frames and take them for a run. Seven point seven four miles, nine minutes, twenty seconds from out, and one hundred thirty five beats per minute today. Going for a nice and easy run along the lakefront in the new Roca Lockhart frame. Now, before I give my thoughts on these running prescription sunglasses, they're also available in non-prescription strength. I do want to go over some disclosures. These are a pair of glasses that Roca has provided me for the purpose of review. I'll also be talking about the Halsey frames. Those also were provided by Roca for the purpose of review. However, in either event no one is paying me to make this video or to use these classes and no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on youtube so with that disclosure out of the way let's talk about the lockhart frames from roca now these sunglasses are available as prescription or a non-prescription and there's a difference in pricing that i'll talk about later in the video if you want to skip around you can use the chapter markers uh down at the bottom to get to the part of the video that you want to watch but first i'm going to talk about these lockhart frames and let's go over some specs these are an incredibly lightweight 22 gram frame which is just incredibly insanely light and they are doing that by using a special lightweight nylon material rather than some of the polycarbonates or some of the other materials that are used in other eyeglass frames they have roca's gecko fit system which is a system of pads that are on the end of the earpiece and right underneath the nose piece make sure that those glasses are going to stay on while you're running whether you're cycling or whatever it is that you're doing in your glasses. Now these nose pieces are also interchangeable so you can get exactly the right fit for your face. And they come with a little tool that you can pop them out and then insert the different sizes in. These come kind of like pre-installed with the medium sized nose piece and that's what's been working for me. The lenses themselves are anti-fog, anti-scratch, and although these are mirror finished, normally the glasses that they make, uh, the lenses are anti-fog as well i've chosen the dark arctic mirror lens i always love to have a reflective lens when it comes to my running sunglasses i don't know what it is about it but it just makes them seem a lot more fun and i'm definitely enjoying the finish on these lenses and the last feature that i really appreciate about these running sunglasses is that they do have a hinge which is very useful for people like me who have a bit of a wider face so that it helps them stay snug longer into their lifespan and they don't end up getting stretched out quite as easily. So what has it been like to run and live in the Lockhart sunglasses? Uh, I've been really enjoying these sunglasses. They fit my face fantastically. I love the shape of it. I love the look of the tortoise shell frame. It's just absolutely magnificent. I have kind of like a soft spot for tortoise shell frames. Uh, my dad always chose them as long as I can remember kind of growing up. And I've had a variety of tortoise shell frames over the years as well. I've been wearing glasses since I've been in the fifth grade. So like basically since I was about my daughter's age now. So I'm a lifelong eyeglass wearer. I love how that all the pieces just seem to be like a little bit chunkier, a little bit thicker. I do love like a big thick frame glass that I can hide my face behind. Uh, I've also been living in the Halsey glasses from Roca. Uh, these are also a prescription glass and everything on these are a little bit thinner, a little bit different. I went with a little bit of a departure from what I normally use, but I've been living in these and I love them because they're lightweight and all these like gecko pads on the nose pad and right behind the earpiece. None of that stuff's been really irritating me which is something that i've been worried about so from a long-term perspective the gecko fit is so far only upsides and no downsides for me when i took these on the run and i've also run in the halsey uh that promise that roca makes of like no slip no bounce is definitely true 
I haven't taken either of these glasses out for like super, super sweaty activities, either running or cycling. Um, but when I've taken the Lockhart out for running today, they just stuck onto my face and it was really easy to just forget that they were there. Now, granted, I did also have a winter cap on as it's getting colder here in Chicago now. And that does help kind of keep everything in place. But these sunglasses were just an absolute pleasure to wear. And I'm kind of wishing that I got these also as regular glasses, which is something that you can also do. Now, the thing that I'm kind of most excited about these is I have running sunglasses and normally I run in contacts and then put sunglasses on and I don't have too big of a problem with that, but I do enjoy having like the running prescription sunglasses because sometimes, you know, just don't feel like putting the contacts in in the morning. But in addition to that, there's more benefits to it as well, uh, both for the Halsey, which are not sunglasses and for these Lockharts that I got, which are sunglasses. I feel like they're gonna be really useful when I'm out there on the bike. Uh, when I'm on the bike, I don't really like to be wearing my contact lenses uh, because I feel like the wind, the air just really dries my air out. So I always like to have some sort of eye protection on. So for the days that I've been on the bike, I've been riding pretty much exclusively in the Halsey. Uh, and I'm looking forward to when I need it for sunny days, riding uh, my bike in the Lockharts as well. So that way I don't have to wear contacts while I'm moving at those faster speeds, but can still have the sun protection that I'm looking for, which I I feel like on a bike seems to be a little bit more important. I think just because you're moving faster and you got to keep your eye out a little bit more carefully for any obstacles that might be coming your way. So definitely going to appreciate them there. I'm also going to really appreciate them when it comes to driving uh, because a lot of times with me driving, I have to decide before I get in the car for a long road trip, whether I want to be able to be comfortable and drive with my glasses on or whether I want to have sunglasses and drive with contacts in. Now with the prescription sunglasses, I don't have to make that choice. I, again, I can have both worlds where I'm comfortable not being in the contact lenses, but can also have that eye protection and I could look great while doing it. So let's talk about uh, some of the pricing for this. So if you wanna get these as regular sunglasses, they're normally 175, I believe, but there's a Black Friday sale now. Yes, we're already at that time of year where the frames uh, with sunglass lenses just regular lenses uh, are down to 150, which I think is a really fantastic price, uh, a lot less expensive than I was expecting these sunglasses to be. If you want them to be prescription sunglasses, the price does go up a little bit. I believe it's like 280 uh, is the normal price, but again, with that Black Friday sale, it's down to 250 right now, gets you in the door with these prescription lenses. Now you can do some add-ons, you can get to uh, like a, a, a tier up in terms of like le the level of the lens that they put in there. There's a $70 upgrade and then a $90 upgrade, which is something that I would recommend for people that have thicker prescriptions, kind of like I do. Uh, it's lighter weight and it's gonna be a thinner lens. Uh, you can also, uh, as an add-on, get your lenses polarized if you want. For me, for someone who runs with cameras all the time or is using a lot of cameras and electronics while they might have their sunglasses on, uh, I prefer to not have polarized lenses. It just makes my life a lot easier. Although I know it's better for my eyes and my eye health if I do have those polarized lenses, but I'm glad mine aren't polarized. The great thing about these is because they are prescription lenses and this doesn't apply um, to if you just get them as regular sunglasses, but whether you're getting prescription glasses that you wanna be able to run in or you weren't getting prescription sunglasses that you wanna be able to run in or ride in or whatever it is that you're doing out there, uh, because they're prescription, they qualify uh, as a covered expense from your vision health insurance provider. You'll have to check with your specific plan in terms of how much is covered, uh, if they're all covered, just partially covered, or what the story is. Every plan is gonna be a little bit different, but they do qualify just like regular glasses would qualify. And while Roca doesn't directly handle that, they will give you like the documentation that you need. They'll give you like an itemized receipt that they'll email to you. Um, so that way you can submit those expenses for reimbursement from your uh, VSP or your health insurance provider, or you can use these and they qualify to be used uh, as your FSA or your HSA. So the 250 price is not necessarily going to be the price that you're paying if you have vision insurance. So if that price can come down quite a bit, how much it comes down is gonna depend on kind of your situation. But at a discount because of that insurance, well, not a discount, but because of the insurance coverage, it brings that price even further down, which makes these classes to me even more of a value and even more 
exciting. So I've been living with the Halsey for a while and have been loving them. Uh, and I just got the Lockharts and I'm so excited to go on new adventures with them. Very excited for both of these prescription glasses from Roka. If you have any questions about either of these glasses or like the ordering process or anything like that, feel free to put them in the comments down below or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. And I'd love to be able to talk to you guys in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?